hello today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to talk about five palettes I really wanted bought but never use I don't know if th that is a good title or not but that's what I'm going to talk about and I have four eyeshadow palettes and one face palette so I think we just get started and we can start with the face palette so first up a face palette I really wanted I bought but I never use is the Aurora Glow Kit from Anastasia and first of all this looks I love the packaging of this and I also oh, my nose I also love the colors uh, but I never reach for this one I don't like like this crazy highlighters or stuff like that and I don't love when it's too much and too chunky so I don't know why I bought this but I really wanted it but I never use it but it's such a nice palette I think this was limited edition this and the moonshine I don't know if both was limited edition maybe I should have checked but I think this was and I can't sell it because if I sell it and I regret I cannot get a hand of this again I like never use it but I don't want to sell it because I maybe changed my mind so this is the first palette okay then we can continue with Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is an eyeshadow palette I love their eyeshadow palettes I have four but it's one of them this one was the last one I bought and it looks so good but I, I have used it maybe three times and it's modern renaissance I expect I assume you know how it looks it looks like this I really like these colors most of them and I was so looking forward to have this palette but I I like never use it I think I have to put it there so I see it when I'm going to do my makeup and use it because it is a really nice palette and it's not the cheapest palette and yeah and I was so happy when I finally bought this one and took it home I swatched it I use it but I like never use it and I have to start use this the next palette is from Nabla and this is their soul, soul blooming and this was their second palette they released they had the dreamy palette and now they are releasing a new palette that is called poison garden whole nother story i think i want that palette too but i don't know uh, this is the soul blooming palette and it is i like the size of this palette it is 12 shades but it's not a big palette i hate like this super big palettes I have used this quite a lot when I bought it but now it was a couple of months since I used it last but this is a really nice palette and the shadows are really really good so I have to start to use this as well but I don't I like open it and look at the colors and think this is really nice colors but then I put it back and I don't use it and I don't know why because it is a good palette the colors are nice. The last two palette is from the same brand and it's Urban Decay. And first up we have the Moon Dust palette. I bought this a couple, one year ago maybe. And it looks like this. This is Clear Shades Shadows. This was also one of these palettes. When I finally bought it and got it, I, I was so in love with this one. I used it these two colors I used so much but the other ones I don't know if it's because you have to work a little bit more with this you have to have a glitter glue and stuff like that and I think it's maybe that's the reason why I don't use it so often Um, I really start need to start using this more because it's such a nice palette so I, I, I think I have to redo that thing back there so I can start to use all of these palettes again 
But this is a really nice palette and I really, I have to start to use this more. Okay, so the last palette I have a little story about. Um, it's the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and my idea was to get rid of my Naked 2 and Naked 3 palette and only have this because I wanted to have less palettes I wanted to have smaller palettes so they could fit better in my storage uh, so I bought this instead because I I like the matte colors the most and it looks like this and I have like used this twice and I still have the Naked 2 and the Naked 3 I still have them I haven't, I can't get rid of them, so this was, I wanted it so much, I was so happy when I bought it, but now I don't know why, and I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have this, but it's a good palette, but I don't use it, like never, and it only taking up space in my drawer and I I don't know maybe I just going to be separated from this one I don't know what to do so that was five palettes I really wanted I bought but I never use so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please press a like and also subscribe if you're not so you don't miss any of my videos and Maybe I should do challenge myself to maybe do two free looks with each of these palettes so I really use them like maybe not this one this I maybe have to it doesn't work so good on its own uh, but the other palettes maybe I should just do two or three looks with them so I really can test them out see what I loved at first so yeah, I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!